Love Sr. is a little sparked up after his contact with Howard. He has 10 points and three rebounds. But I would very much welcome seeing my friends of Clipper Nation. Harris picked up by Jackson. Two former Pistons crossing blades. A third piston reaches in, and Marcus Morris Sr., a whistle and a foul. And now we're getting awful choppy here in the third. You see the attitude that Morris has now, a little more aggressive, taking it off the dribble, stops, elevates. You don't see him do that a whole lot. So maybe he was perturbed by the contact. I wouldn't mind seeing it more. He has been really good since getting back into that starting lineup. And on the other side of that coin, Nicholas Batum has still been terrific coming off the bench, which is zero surprise to anyone. As Tobias Harris knocks down the first of two. One of the things that Tobias said about playing for Doc Rivers is that he knew exactly where he was going to get his shots every night with the Clippers. And, and I felt the same way, and that has been the case with Philadelphia. Played his best basketball a couple of years ago in a Clipper uniform. Doc Rivers has helped him regain that form in Philadelphia this year. 79-69 Clippers by 10. They are 28-2 and and leading by double figures in the second half. Jackson down the lane. Oh, and down the hatch it goes for Mr. Jackson. He has a dozen. Milton fouled by George, and that'll be free throws here for the Sixers, really the rest of the way. That's not a good thing when you get yourself into the bonus situation because you have fouled too much, particularly with over six minutes remaining in the quarter. There's a lot of opportunities for the opponents to put points on the board with the clock stop. Shake Milton at the strike, and now a quick word from Cedar Sinai. Here for the athletes, the fans, and all your MVPs. Cedar Sinai, we're right here. Second round pick back in 2018. Again, I, I mentioned it earlier. He had a monster game, almost a year to the day against the Clippers. One of the final games for the Clippers at Staples Center before the shutdown. Clippers by 10, Batum fouled by Howard, a whistle, stops the clock midway through this third quarter. In a rapidly moving first half that has almost been as long here in the first six minutes of this third quarter. Well, Brian, for the six 